So as institutions continue to pour billions of dollars into Ethereum, the one problem that is only gonna get worse is gas fees. Many people in the crypto industry point towards ETH 2.0. They say this is gonna solve all the issues, but it's not because as Ethereum continues to get larger, more people invest, more projects are built on its ecosystem. Well, it doesn't matter how efficient it is because simply it cannot handle all of these transactions taking place and gas fees are always gonna be higher than other competitors, let's say like Cadena or like Solana or like like Cardano. So that is why today I want to take a minute to talk about one of my favorite altcoins in particular. It's still under $2 per coin, and I think it easily could 10x. We're not just throwing out random numbers. We're going to break down some of the data, and the coin we're going to talk about today is Polygon Matic, M-A-T-I-C. So if you guys enjoy these sort of short form, concise, no BS content that doesn't waste either of our times, well, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And we're closing in on 300,000 subscribers. So let's see if we get this video up to 3,000 likes. But anyways, one of the biggest problems with Ethereum is its gas fees. Right now, we are seeing that gas fees are continuing to rise higher and higher for Ethereum, and that is where Polygon really comes into play. When we compare Ethereum fees versus Polygon fees, we can see that for an average Ethereum transfer, it costs about $14.10 on Ethereum versus less than one penny on Polygon. For NFT transfers, it's the same story. And for everything all across the board, you can see it's not even close when comparing Ethereum fees versus polygon fees nowhere even close polygon completely blows ethereum out of the water but the interesting thing here is it's not like polygon is trying to replace ethereum it's just offering an additional solution and the whole reason behind polygon is to help ethereum polygon is a layer two solution for ethereum so it's not trying to replace it it's only going to help benefit it it's not like you have to bet on one or the other if ethereum does well polygon's going to do well if polygon continues to grow well ethereum is going to do well they really are pretty closely tied in terms of price movements but this brings us to one of the first big polygon announcements i wanted to go over in today's video which is with regard to unstoppable domains officially going live on polygon on november 15th 2021 this was a huge deal and a huge story and led me to buying a lot more um blockchain domain names. A blockchain domain name, for those of you who aren't familiar, is like a .com or .org um, domain name. But the records are stored on the blockchain, making it completely decentralized. And blockchain domains do two things that regular domains simply cannot do. One, it simplifies cryptocurrency payments. And two, it also helps you build an uncensorable website. So this announcement was a huge deal because now users can mint newly purchased domains on Polygon completely for free. You don't have to worry about paying those ridiculously high Ethereum gas fees. You also can mint previously purchased domains that are not yet minted on Polygon. You don't have to worry about those gas fees. This is such a big deal, and this has led me to purchase more and more blockchain domain names. These are investments that I think are gonna be huge five years from now, a couple years from now, and we've already seen a number of major corporations buy domain names as well, buy blockchain domain names as well. For example, we saw Budweiser, or buy beer.eth. They've bought a number of other ones as well, but this is such a big deal that now Unstoppable Domains allows you to mint domains on Polygon for free. So if you guys want, I do have a link in the description where you guys can you know, download and get your own blockchain domain names, but I've been purchasing a lot more of these. So just make sure to check that out in the link down below. If you do want to purchase a domain name, um, a blockchain domain name on unstoppable domains using Polygon. The second thing I wanna go over is with regard to um, the NFL. The NFL is officially launching their own NFT ticket collectibles on Polygon as well. This is a huge deal because we're continuing to see more and more use cases for Polygon. It's like all of these major companies want to use Ethereum, but they see the high gas fees, they see how ridiculous they are, and they look for, well, what's the next best thing? And a lot of them turn towards Polygon. So NFL is already experiencing with NFTs on Polygon for tickets. This is a big deal. Lastly, we're seeing a number of other major announcements and partnerships come out with Polygon as well. Right now, Polygon has hundreds of projects built on its blockchain, and this is only continuing to grow faster and faster over time as gas fees get higher and higher. 
Lastly, I want to go over, well, how is, a th how is Polygon's price going to 10x like we talked about? Is it actually possible? And I think it definitely is. Because first, legendary billionaire market maker. His name is Ken Griffin. He is the founder of Citadel, one of the biggest financial companies in the world. He came out and says that he believes Ethereum will surpass Bitcoin in terms of market cap. And why this is important is because if Ethereum surpasses Bitcoin in terms of market cap, which many people predict will happen, that would put it at at least a $1 trillion market cap. But as Ethereum continues to get higher and higher, well, gas fees are just going to get higher and higher as well. That is where Polygon comes into place. And this is where that 10X return comes in as well. So right now, if we look at Ethereum, it has a $500 billion market cap and Polygon has, let's say, a $10 billion market cap to keep it simple. That is about 2%. So a Polygon has a 2%, is about 2% the size of Ethereum. But I believe as Ethereum continues to get higher and higher, continues to grow, this percentage is only going to increase because the reason why Polygon is continuing to grow is because people don't want to deal with those high transaction fees on Ethereum. So I think as we see Ethereum get closer to that $1 trillion market cap, it would be very, very possible and very likely for Polygon to have about 10%, uh, to be about 10% the size of Ethereum. So that would mean if Ethereum is at a $1 trillion market cap, I think it is very reasonable to think that Polygon could have 10% the size of that, which would be a $100 billion market cap. Obviously, we have to wait and see what happens with the market, but if everything continues to grow, we continue to see new record highs reach later into 2021, this is very possible in my opinion because Polygon is going to be necessary and only going to get larger and larger as gas fees get higher and higher. But anyways, let me know your thoughts, what you think is going on. Also, make sure to check out that link in the description so you can buy um, and you can um, mint newly purchased domains on Polygon for free. I've been doing it myself. Ask me in the Discord. I'll let you guys know also which ones I've been buying as of recently. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.